What's up, Warriors? It's Goku. Welcome back to some more Dynasty Warriors 9. Another duo. We're doing, I don't know, I guess, I don't. I know they're not technically brothers, but the Jun Bros. Jun Yu and Jun Yo, the great strategist for South South. Um, I don't really, I'm a little confused at the moment because, as you can see, we're at the edge of this mountain. Or not, uh, there is a reason for it. Before this recording started, I was just right over there at my house. Just going to start the intro over there. But uh, Jun Yo decided, you know what? I'm sick of this place. I'm sick of your face. I'm going to run down this mountain and get away. But then he ended up teleporting right back over here to me. So I'm a little confused right now as to, one, why he did that. And uh, also very confused as to why he's level 18. Because I've played him in this game numerous occasions. And for some reason, his story mode is at the very beginning again. And he was at level 1 until... This is his starting level if you start up his story mode. So I went at least to go up to his startup... Uh, to start up his story mode. And he ended up at level 18. But he should have been at least around Jun Yu's level. At least maybe a little lower than that. Maybe around 30-something. But I'm a little confused right now. And I'm a little... Angered. Not really angered that much because it's not that big of a deal to me. Because I played as him a decent amount of times, but I didn't play a lot of him. But yeah, we're going to be playing the Battle of Zhu Province because uh, there's really nothing here. Oh my god! Alright, so we're going to be doing the Battle of Zhu Province. I guess I just never finished this story for, or this mission for some reason. So what we'll do is we'll finish off Zhu Province and uh, go on from there. Alright. Wow. I actually had no idea that I was pretty much already done with this mission. Alright. Uh, so we got to go that way. Alright. So I did at least equip the horse and everything, so we'll probably be doing this mission plus another one. Had no idea I was in the middle of Jun Yu. Uh, I know, like, uh, my friend played a lot of Jun Yu when we got, um, when we both played on the same console. But I'm a little blown away as to why his, all his missions ain't done either. I'm a little confused right now. Very confused, as a matter of fact. I know that's on me. That's not the game. The Jun Yu thing, totally the game. But why this isn't done, um, I know it's most likely me. But uh, we put a lot of stuff to increase Jun Yo's uh, experience or his level quickly, so hopefully that'll make a difference. I've never really played that much of Jun Yu, to be honest. Like I said, my friend who would come over uh, played a Jun Yu. I didn't really do it because I'm, for one, even though the, the throwing knives are pretty good in this game, I'm still not a fan of throwing knives, honestly. Um, honestly, I'm not. I'm actually surprised I didn't play a Jin Yo instead of Jin Yu, but I guess it. I guess it is what it is. I guess we'll just take out these enemies and. Uh, still, just very confused as to why I quit halfway through. Like. If I get bored of the game, I at least finish the stage, or I quit in the like at the beginning of it before I do anything. That's what I do. If I ever, if I either finish the stage, then I then I end up quitting. If I um, start up one but I get bored, I just stop at the very beginning. Like I don't do any missions or anything like that. So this is very interesting to me. I'm legitimately confused right now. But nonetheless, we got the Jin guys here with us. We're going to see what we can do. And yes, I did this solely because they have pretty much that much similar of names. That was my only reason for doing it. I was going to do some uh, some other ones like the Sima Clan, but I forgot. Oh, right. You can't do families with one another. Koi Tecmo, why'd you do that? Why would you make it so we can't um, team like have a family member be a bodyguard? That's really obnoxious to me. That you would come to such a really stupid decision. At that, at this point, that's what I'm assuming because no matter what stage I went to with like Sima Sima Zhao, because I wanted to play a Sima Zhao, I couldn't get Sima Shu or Sima Yi. I didn't even think their mom. I didn't really try to look for their mom, but I was mostly looking for like Sima Shu, and then I tried to look for Sima Yi just for the hell of it. But no, you cannot. For for some reason, people who are family, you just can't have bodyguards. And if that really is the case. Koi Tecmo, Omega Force, what the hell is the... Why? Why? You should just be allowed to have anyone as your bodyguard at any time. Like, don't... Don't be stupid about it. Is that my horse? That's Jinyo's horse. 
All right, I guess we'll go to the main mission now since I uh, wasn't paying attention, wasn't didn't realize before I actually started this up that I finished pretty much most of this stage. So like I said, uh, we'll probably just hop into the next stage. We'll probably do a cut. So I know there's going to be dialogue, and then we'll go on to the next one. Shut up. Also, yeah, also, I don't know why my voice feels very hoarse. I don't know why. I don't feel sick or anything. I just woke up. And maybe it's just the morning voice, but, like, I don't usually get this kind of voice in the morning. So I don't know. I really don't know. All right, why are we doing this? Let's just fast travel. I'm going to be starting up another mission, probably. Whether or not we get through that one all the way, depending on how long it is. Uh, I mean, it probably won't happen, but I don't know. And we got to wait for the glorious loading screen that is Dynasty Warriors 9's. We get to look at a heaping trash, which was Jia Hao Ji. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm trying to like clear my throat. I don't know what the hell happened. But, um, so I meant, I, I mentioned in one of last week's videos that I would probably do a, uh, a poll or something for what I should live stream for the 600 subs. I'll probably hold off until we get, unless we already did at this point, I'll probably hold off till we get to a comfortable number in the 600s because I literally also read something on, on uh, Twitter, which actually pretty much solidifies how I feel. It's like, oh, like reaching milestones is kind of like a pain in the ass because you're like, oh, dude, I did it. And then there's always that one person who's like, well, time to unfollow or unsubscribe this person for no apparent reason. And uh, so that's what I'm probably going to do. I'm going to wait till we probably get to a comfortable number in the 600s before I decide, oh, we're doing the live stream. And then we'll bracket like 599. My ass beat, by the way. By generic alpha. So I'll probably put up the poll here in this video. So if you guys do want to see it, it should be at the top right. Be sure to let, uh, give me, uh, give me a vote on what game you would like to see. Of course, because uh, the content on this channel is like 80% warrior stuff, I will obviously mostly have like Dynasty Warriors 9, I'll have uh, Warriors Archie 4, Warriors Archie 3 Ultimate. If it's Dynasty Warriors 9, I'll do whatever the hell I want on it. Basically, I'll just play whoever. It'll probably be a character that you all have seen plenty of times or something like that. Or it'll be like, uh, if we go to Warriors Archie 4, It'll be me grinding out characters that I want to play as because uh, I saw like people flexing like, oh, look at all these people I have maxed out. And I have like one person, one or two people maxed out to level 100. Yes, I really do because I just get bored of the game. But now that I have a good grinding system that I looked up, uh, I'm probably going to be doing that because I get a lot of growth points from that. Especially if I play on chaotic difficulty, which I have been. Ow. So we'll probably do that, a little bit of grinding there. Uh, obviously, you all know me with Warriors Rush the Ultimate. We'll most likely be playing Gauntlet mode. I'll probably try to get characters ready, readied up for um, like certain themed videos or returning themed videos, like I've done before. Wait, is the gate open yet? The gate's the gate is open. Okay, I didn't have to worry about all that. Oh wait, is the other side opened up? I'm gonna draw this out as much as we can. Let's go see if we uh, get the other area opened up. If it isn't already. So I'm thinking about those three games. I'm probably thinking about maybe like Dynasty War like an old Dynasty Warriors game as well. Ah! Thinking about an old Dynasty Warriors game as well. Oh, the gate's not open, but there's no one over here. <clears throat> I'll have to open up open it up from the other side. Let's at least take out these guys. Hiya. Ow. Part of me is just gonna be like, I'll oh, just start up another uh start up another battle, but at the same time I kinda just wanna just like try to draw this out if there's enemies around. That's what I'll do. That way I don't have to commit myself to playing the entire stage of the next area. And then I'll probably finish the rest off camera on my free time. Or maybe I'll just switch to Jun Yu. Is he that? Because apparently now he's at the same exact spot as Jun Yu for some stupid ass reason. Like I said. I played as him a decent amount of times in this game where he was at least around level 30, if not actually in the 40s. And for some reason, none of his stuff was saved or got somehow deleted. Just him, by the way. 
and it quite upsets me. Not too much because I can just give me it'll give me the excuse to play them again, but but wow, I don't get it. Also, yes, I am still playing on the Chinese dub because the Chinese dub is actually pretty decent. Eventually, I'll go back to the Japanese one though. I probably don't really like touch. I don't really like touching the English dub that much because uh, I'm, for me personally, at this point, I've actually swapped over some of the games is like older games is to uh, Japanese dub solely because I'm just more used to them. English dub is there for if I want to have that nostalgic feel, but like Samurai Warriors, for instance, which had a pretty decent dub, uh, I actually swapped over to the Japanese one just because I'm so used to like more than half of those people in, in there as well. Like it's just it's just that kind of feeling I get. Who am I killing, by the way? Is it you? Oh no, it's Tao Chien. I, I literally forgot like history for a second there. I'm beating this man's ass. That actually connect? If it did, I'm actually really happy. If it didn't, no, I think it did. Nice. Oh, yep. Up there and beat his ass. Uh, nice. Ow, ow. What? I was pretty sure I was doing a somersault in the air, but all right. Whatever. Very interesting to me that they went from like the formation rod just to throwing knives. Because the formation rod was actually pretty dope. I actually kind of liked the weapon. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but it was pretty fun. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I say that, and I don't think I have this like in Dynasty Series 8 Empires. I normally give everyone a weapon. I don't think I've given one single person that weapon before. And not that, like I said, not that I'm saying it's a bad weapon. It's not. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I just I guess I never just thought about putting it on on one of my characters. I don't think. I don't remember because like I have a lot of characters. If you guys have seen my roster, I have a lot of characters in Dynasty Warriors: Eight Empires. Alright, he did. We did it. And brought ruin. We're gonna save Shu. That's the goal. Although I do think in this uh, in this battle, Sao Sao off camera like destroyed like innocent people and stuff, like decimated their homes and crap. I'm not 100 percent certain. All right, so I'm gonna cut here and uh, try to see if we can get into a more uh, into a little more battling. Okay, and we're back. So this mission seems pretty. Uh, it seems like it might be pretty short. So I think we'll. I think we can keep going with this. We can work with this. Let's just go help out South Sao over here. Wanted to also teleport away, so I uh, see if I have Jin Yo with me. Because otherwise, the duo video would seem kind of pointless at this point. But luckily, I didn't have to do anything. All I did was pretty much just change up the music. Alright, so where's 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 the Jang Meow? So yeah, I'll try to think of another good duo video. Honestly, it's really tough because you're like, oh well family members is a really good giveaway. The problem is families are just not possible. Like you have to be a little creative with uh, when it comes to these duos now because why why they think that's a great idea to not have to not be able to do family members, which still irks me to this day, as you can clearly tell. Um, it's just annoying. It's really annoying. I would have done like Lu Bu and Lu Ling Chi. I could have done like uh, the Guang people from the Guang family. Like I could have done Ow. I could have done a lot of that stuff, but unfortunately I cannot. I imagine I won't. I wouldn't be able to do Liu Bei and Liu Shan either, which kind of sucks. Or anyone in Jenk Fei's family. Like, I don't know why they did, went that route. 
with that with like oh family members you can't you can't ally yourselves with them as a bodyguard I don't know why they went that route but I think that's a really ridiculously stupid route and I kind of would like an explanation on that but I get the feeling that'll never happen Take this! Yeah, why wouldn't they just allow us to just be able to just pick our uh, our bodyguard at any time, wherever, whoever? Like, it's kind of dumb. If they do continue to update this game, that's probably my biggest update gripe right there. Like, make that an update. Like, fix up that bodyguard system because as cool as it can be, it sucks at the same time. Also, this isn't really a gripe. This was one I actually just hoped to to make it even better. Like I mentioned with uh, Samurai Warriors 4 and as well as Sengoku Boss or for Sumeragi, when you have a second character with you, for Samurai Warriors, it's pretty much just like you're playing as two characters at once. It's not really a bodyguard system. But when it comes to like Sengoku Boss or for Samuragi, what you can do is be able to swap between characters when you have you and your bodyguard. And I, like, like I said, it's pretty much the same thing with Samurai Warriors. I really, really pray and hope that one day we, we would be able to do that as well. So Because this is a giant roster. And it, at times it can get a little annoying if we have to like swap back and forth like through the menus and stuff. Instead, what they should do is, well, one, because they actually have a good feature which kind of still sucks it in a way. To be able to change officers, like I guess, before a battle, which is okay to me. But allow us to be able to swap between the officer you picked and your bodyguard too so that way you can keep it interesting you can keep it fun like if you get tired of this character just for now you can move over to this character if you get tired of that one you can move back to the other one that's what i do with sumeragi and samurai warriors it's i think that's a really good thing i really hope that they bring this back because this roster is huge and honestly i think it would be a much better enjoyment like especially for people who ha who go through like the same kind of story in the games like jun yu and jun yo for instance they kind of started the same. I don't know if they end in the same route, but um, that'd be cool. Like it would help you like progress both stories or something like that. If if not, it would still help ha be more enjoy. All oh, right, grapple hooks are not the case in this game anymore. And I also got to take care of uh some people out here. Oh, wait, I don't have to kill you. What am I doing with you here? Oh, I'm defending this castle. Wait, if I'm defending it, don't you think that makes sense that I would be allowed to grapple hook it? Are you kidding me? Game. Game. Please. Ridiculous. Where's Jun Yo? Or is he like actually over here? If over here. Oh, he's above me. He's over here. Okay, yeah, he's he's actually here here. Alright, let's head over to this guy over here. This guy is the main threat. Oh, it's Zheng Liao. Oh my god, my frames. I could not think or move at all. Oh, Jun Yo followed me. Oh, no, wait. I think that might be my Jun Yo because I forgot. He's got a lot of, like, XP stuff on him. I forgot about that. Yo, beat his ass, Jun Yo. Yeah, thank you. Wait, Lu Ling Chi, what are you doing here? Oh, please. Little girl. Little girl. God, 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 Jesus. Oh, my God. These archers are so damn annoying. I applaud Koei Tecmo for somehow finding a way to make archers that much more of a pain in the ass. Ow. Ow. I like how I'm dying, not because of the officers, literally just because of these stupid, annoying archers. Ah. Get him, Junyo. Teach him who's boss. Stop. Teach him who's boss. Like, I want to beat up Lu Ling Chi as well, but I just want to get through this at this point. Let me eat a... No, nah, I don't think I need to eat a pancreas yet. Whistling arrow. Well, can y'all, like, back the... Off me? I'm not even hitting it, which is really disappointing to me. Yeah, there we go. We got a hit. Okay, I think I'll eat my pancreas now. I, I was I was really going down in hell. Just, just perish already, Jing Liao. Get your punk ass back up there. Did I fail the objective? Or do I still have to defend the castle? Your dad ain't gonna do crap. Shut up, Lu Ling Chi. Your dad sucks. I know a lot of you are fans of Lu Bu and all that, but 
I really do see him for the bumbling buffoon that he actually is. And I, I never really got super attached to Lubu. Honestly, every time I, I like, listen to Lubu, I always felt bad for the likes of, like, Chen Gong and, like, Zheng Liao and stuff. Zheng Liao had to serve him. Chen Gong practically had to serve him and just put up with him. And it eventually led to all their deaths just because Lupu is an idiot. Like, at first I was like, oh, he's a cool character and stuff. But I wasn't really, like, a huge fan of Lupu. Oh, something's happening here. Something is happening here. Oh, is this where uh, he gets shot with an arrow? I want to see him take his eyeball and eat it. That's not going to happen, unfortunately. I'm going to give you back my music. I listen to this crap. I ain't listening to this crap. Oh. Hi, Luchi. Yes, we are still here. We are still fighting you. That's right. Well, not really anymore. You're kind of just like letting this happen at this point. Oh, you know, don't run. Don't run now. You, you're going to take these hits. You're going to take every last bit of this. Every last bit. Every last bit. Wake it up. I will drain you of your health if I have to, because that shield is not really going down that much. Oh my god, I could just keep that going. That was really annoying, but really cool. Alright, uh, so we got one more mission left. Alright, we can do that. We can do that mission and then uh, do the very last one, the main one, and then we'll call it. We'll just head over here. We got the Phoenix leveled up. Alright. So we just gotta make our way over here. Is Junyo still with us? Is he still is he still like part of the team and stuff? Where's our boy? Where's our boy Junyo? He's over there still. How far do I have to be for like my bodyguard version to pop up? Let's fast travel and see if he's actually still with us. Because if not, wow. Because he was at the beginning. We need our boy. Is he here? Big he is. I thought I saw his picture. There's Man Chong. There's Yu Jin. Guy to my. That's Sao Shu. Where's our boy Zhen Yo? Did it just like cancel out my bodyguard system with him? What the fuck? Did it? Let's go check. Let's go back to the house and see if like actually just cancel out on me. If it did, this game's flawless if it did. Just saying. If it did do that, I actually don't know why it did that, because that would actually be really stupid. But just to be on the safe side, we're going to check just in case. Just in case. And before he actually pops up right next to me, he's like, oh, hey, sorry about that. But he did not. I'm disappointed and angered. Do I have to really re-recruit him now? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. They canceled out the thing with him. Wow. Good news. At least he was close by to us when we were doing that stuff. So he was helping me fight Jing Liao and everything. So that was kind of actually pretty cool. But why did it cancel? Did I mention that this game is trash? Because it's pretty damn trash. The amount of stupid things that this game does is ridiculous. I'm glad you all enjoy this content. I'm glad. Because this hurts my soul. I can't recruit him anymore. Wow. Imagine the game being trash right now. Because the game is actually being trash. All right. Well, <laughs> that was short lived. But uh, whatever. Whatever. I can't even... Okay. We're just gonna... We're just gonna keep going, then. We might as well. I said I would finish this battle, so we're gonna finish the battle. Kinda kills the duo vibe now, but, you know, whatever. I guess the game just decided... I'm gonna just give a little hiccup here and, uh, be extra stupid today. And it did just that! Fabulous. I like how it cancels out, not like after a battle, not like not like before a battle. It canceled out in the middle of a battle. And now I can't even recruit him back, which is absolute blasphemy at this point. This game hurts my soul. I just want you to know that. Maybe that's why you all like constantly, either you guys like just seeing the gameplay of it, or you actually just like seeing me suffer. But I always said, if this game didn't get a lot of support, which it has been, like 
fantastic, uh, then I would keep doing it. But, um, because you guys have been, and I, 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 I hear you. I hear you that you want to see me do more of this stuff, but, like, God's sake is this game, like, on a really big broken piece of shit. I'm sorry. This game, like, the more I play it, and the more I record it, the more, like, issues I see with this game that... That just keep, like, just, com like, just piling up at this point. For my live streams and everything else, you all see, like, the idiocy of this game in action. From the horrible updates they've done, from the bugs and glitches that have still been in the game since day one. Like, defend this game to your heart's content, those of you who thoroughly enjoy this game. But I kind of also throw you off every single time when I say when I see all these really stupid decisions and really bad glitches and bugs. So that's just my two cents. But that also is a great reason to be able to uh, record this stuff because I get to also express my my uh, how should I put this in a nice way. My, my dislike, my dicks, my dislikes of the game. We'll say that just to be a little bit on the nicer side. Because now our duo buddy is already at the main base, at the main castle. Oh, you didn't know? Uh, the duo video is actually me and Man Chong, just so you all know. Totally. Can y'all like chill? All right, let's go take out this guy so we can just finish this now. Kind of, kind of hurts the purpose of video now. Now that we uh, don't have Junyo with us, because the game was like, "Oh, I don't want to have you both on the same team anymore." Why? <laughs> Game's stupid. Like I said, I really hurt my ass. Like I said, those of you who really do thoroughly enjoy this game for some reason, you can defend it to your heart's content. But when I have the hard facts with me right here, yeah, yeah. Can't argue that much, can you? Uh, okay, so we did that. Now we gotta wait for this mission to actually like go away. Then we'll move on to something else. All right, well, let's wrap this up. Really, did it put me right in the middle of the castle? Oh god, I hope not. I'm gonna be right next to Lu Bu and whoever else was there. Chen Gong, I think. I remember back in the old days, um... Yeah, Chen would be in, like, every battle with Lu Bu, but now, not anymore. Okay, they put me on the complete opposite side of where my allies are. Dope. Oh, I forgot. Chen Gong's got his, uh, DLC outfit. I guess where he was, like, a prime minister or something? Pretty good outfit. His other outfit's good too, but I don't know. I just decided to keep the Prime Minister outfit. I'm here. Oh, I kind of wish I wasn't though, because there's archers here. Dope. You know, first thing they're going to do, turn all their attention to me for some reason. Just wait. Just wait. It's going to happen. There's like 8,000 people here, and they're like, oh, look at this, a certain person. Yeah, all right. Dope. All right, just take out these archer guys. Yep, yep, here we go. Just, you know, don't worry about the guys that are just beating your ass right now. Let's worry about... That guy's flying in the air. I mean, it's literally just flying. Okay, he's back to normal. Lawless. Lawless game. Lawless. You know what? I didn't ask a question yet for this video, and I'm about to do it right now. For those of you who do like this game, God, 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 Jesus! Uh, for those of you who do like this game, give me your reason why you like this game. I really, really want to know why you like this game. Now, watch me do content on it. I'm saying, why? Like, why do you, Kurt? Why do you think Dynasty Warriors 9 is such a good game? I want to know. I'm not gonna argue against you. I'm not gonna say anything. I think this video speaks for itself. I will eat my pancreas because I'm dying. But, uh, yeah, let me know. I'm really curious about what you guys say. And no, you can't just get me, it's just that good of a game. No, you, that's not a good reason. That's a horrible reason, in fact. That I will argue and be like, all right, but can you, like, give me examples? Give me proof of why it's so great. 
Give me, give me your reasons why you think it's a good game. This isn't to make fun of you. This is, I'm just genuinely shocked and curious that people actually think that this game is, can be like all that. I personally never think that. Stop. Why? Why is there, where even is he? Okay, there he is. Gotta wait for this damn gate to open anyway. Can't make this, this video drag on anymore now. Hey, there it is, Jinyo. Look, we're, we're doing the duo video still. Oh, the ram's about to die. Y'all, like, back away from my ram. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jesus! Back off of the ram! Alright, it's open. Let's just put... Let's just put me out of my misery. Nice grapple hook at all? Dog. Alright. Grapple hooks are literally the most useless thing in the game now. Even after the battle, the siege is done. You st okay, I was about to say, you still can't even freaking grapple hook. Why not? I like how I, oh, I mentioned, like, I would like to just see improved siege battles and stuff. What do they do? They put archers that will literally drain your health with one shot, and they made it so they are mandatory. When I said improve, that didn't... M when I say improve, it doesn't mean make it worse. Game's great, by the way. Seriously, let me know down in those comments why you think this game is so good. Oh, dope, Arbalus. Gotta get away from those. Those things, I don't think they'll do a lot of damage, but they're, they'll, they'll just blast me back. Yeah, just let's listening to Lu Bu, like, not listening to Chen Gong. Like, I kind of want to see, I would like to see, like, for, for Chen Gong's hypothetical, like, I guess you could also see in the Dynasty Warriors 8 hypothetical, like, what would happen if he actually did listen to Chen Gong? Like, they would get victory after victory and such. Ow. You know what? Screw Chen Gong. You, don't, you, you deserve to live. Unless you come at me yourself, you deserve to live. Lupu, you have such you have such great talent with you, and you waste it. You waste it, and now you're gonna die. You're gonna die for wasting all that potential in your army. You should have stayed with us. Where you at, Lupu? Where you at? You're gonna beat it by strategist. Beat 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 by strategist! Beat by strategist! Beat by strategist! Beat by strategist! How does it feel? God, he can do it four times. That's just so obnoxious. Oh no, we ain't done yet. Get your ass back over here, boy. God, no, Jesus! Now walk back onto him. Ow. Beat by strategist! Beat by strategist. You don't listen to strategists? We're going to beat your ass! Poor Chang Gong. He deserves better than Lu Bu. Also, let me know why you all like Lu Bu, aside from, he's just so badass. I need, like, a good reason. Because he's an idiot. He's just a strong, muscle-bound dumbass. That's literally what he is. He is the strong, muscle-bound dumbass. Possibly one of the biggest dumbasses in this game. But he's likable, I guess. I don't know why. Let me know. All right. So, yeah, that's it, guys. So, like I said, one, let me know your thoughts uh, on Dynasty Warriors 9 as a whole. Uh, for the, especially to those of you who do like the game. Why do you like it? Don't just tell me it's just that good of a game. No, I need to like know why you think it. Am I going to argue if you give me good reasons? No, of course not. If you just say, I, I, it's just a great game, I'm going to argue the shit out of you. <sighs> and I know some of you because uh, some of you like to troll me in the comments, uh, specifically those who are who have been big supporters of the channel. Once, well, thank you to those of you, but uh, I won't be arguing you because I know you. But um, just give me a reason. And also, why for those of you who do really like Lu Bu, like I said, I just see him as the muscle, the big muscle-bound dumbass. So let me know why you like this big, muscle-bound dumbass, aside from just saying he's just a beast. Like, what's likable about him aside from that?
So let me know about those two things down in the comments. If, so guys, with all that being said, if you all did like the video, regardless of it being kind of a flop in my personal opinion, then be sure to hit that like button if you want to see some more Dynasty Warriors 9. You got to make sure you hit that like button or you're going to be seeing less frequent Dynasty Warriors 9 content. Uh, like I mentioned, comment down below the thoughts of Dynasty Warriors 9 and Lubu. And of course, if you're new to the channel and the content that you see, then be sure to hit that sub button. With all that being said, guys, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Farewell.